What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Jason the X back with another review and today I'm taking a look at one of the new Power Ranger Lightning Collection 2 packs. This is the SPD B Squad Blue Ranger and SPD A Squad Blue Ranger. I like 50% of this package review. Um, look, I, I love uh, Mega Ranger and In Space and I love those suits. So you can imagine when SPD came on and I, and I saw these, I was a little upset because they pretty much butchered the in space suits, sorry, hitting the camera, into a bunch of motocross pads and that stupid thing. I hate the A Squad suits. I'm prefacing this review, like telling you I hate A Squad suits. But what I do love, I love me some B Squad suits. I love the female and male designs on them um, just because they were all pants, no skirts, their numbers were on there, the helmets look great except they kind of look like they have a smiley face, which looks like dead mouse, but I know you're not gonna be able to unsee that now that I've said it, but is it a good set? Yeah, I get a B Squad member, and yeah, A Squad was a part of the show, so I guess, yeah, we got A Squad. I'm gonna hate the A Squad suits. Anyway, taking a look at the packaging that it comes in, enough of the, the complaining and moaning. and So you've got our B Squad Blue Ranger on this side and our Blue Squad A, A Squad Ranger on this side, and. Lots of A's and everything. Good profile shots. If you look, they continue on to the other side of the package. I love how the blue just kind of matches in with the helmet. There's a lightning bolt on top. So, yeah. Same thing with this side. The, the package art does look good. On the bottom, you know, a bunch of crap. On the back, you do get some digital artwork of the two Rangers. And yeah, I and also I have reasons for disliking the B-Squad figure, which I'm going to get into, so let's just get this out of the way. And since I dislike him so much, let's go ahead and take a look at our B-Squad Blue Ranger. So, somewhere there is an in-space Blue Ranger just waiting to be made, so <laughs> that is his helmet. Uh, you get it on this all-black buck with this rubbery piece of armor that looks like motocross armor. Got a little doggy in front, you know, SPD, you got an A here, an A here. And it has this additional piece on the top. There's been some tooling to cut away from part of the helmet. Uh, it is just a rubbery piece. If you look, there's some separation right there. It just kind of molds in there. It's just glued to the top. But looking at the figure, I mean, it replicates that figure. You've got SPD on the side here. Uh, more of that motocross. Uh, no paint on the back, which, I mean, I don't care, so... A Squad, SPD on the side here. You have A Squad on his knee pads. Yay. I'm sorry I'm downing so much on these. Look, if you watched SPD, please tell me you hated the A Squad suits as well. Don't make me just feel lonely and I'm complaining about it. You got an SPD buckle, uh, belt buckle here. And yeah, it's just on this all black figure. It's got some new molded parts. I kind of wish it had just been a two pack of SPD members instead of a squad who were there in the first episode they came back and they were evil and then they got I, I i don't know so anyway that is the figure let's look at some of the accessories he comes with he does have two okay here's a gripe here's a gripe he has two c hands but no cut at the finger for his weapon now i can cut the finger on these to make sure that it, it can grip its weapon but it's not there so so this is the weapon in question that he cannot grip. It's a very nice looking rifle. I like, it's got some, some blue on black plastic. Got a silver, uh, some silver paint right there. It's a good little basic weapon and it does come with an accessory piece. It comes with this uh, blast effect, which we've seen a couple times. I believe this, we saw this with the Magna Defender. And you can just put that right on the front of the barrel. And there you go, you've got a pew pew effect. It looks good. I mean, this is reusable for other things. Uh, the other parts that he comes with are two fists. That's it, just two fists. So, getting the weapon in hand is the problem. Because you can't go beneath the um, trigger finger, the butt of the gun, or the uh, handle of the gun, doesn't go all the way down into his hand. So, I mean, you can get it on there. No, you can't. So, I'm gonna have to cut that finger um, to make that fit, but I did want to show it off and also I kind of wish that this hand had been a little bit more open So you could get like a two-handed grip because they regularly when they were well, I mean not regularly the Time we saw them they were holding the weapons like so 
and you can't really do that. I know this sounds like sour grapes, and it is, because I don't like the figure, but <laughs> it, um, it is what it is, and it is not the star of this package by far. So I hope we don't get the rest of SPD released like this. I know we're getting pink in the next wave. I hope they just give them regular car releases, or, you know, give me, you know, they should have given me Swan or uh, Cat. So anyway, you got a disc hinge with the peg in the foot, as is the Hasbro style. Goes forward about that far, goes back about that far. You have a cut at the calf. Good articulation on this thing. I'm not going to deny that. Good articulation. Cut at the calf, double jointed knees. He cannot kick his own butt, but he gets very close. Cut at the thigh, goes out that far. He can almost, almost get full Van Damme Nation. That's good posability. You have a uh, torso hinge, goes forward about that far. The uh, armor does get out of the way fairly well, goes back about that far. A ball joint at the top of the torso, or kind of like center of the torso. Butterfly hinges, which are always great. Cut at the bicep, allows the arm to make a 360 there, even with that armor on there. Goes out about that far on a universal joint, and then will do a 360 on that. The armor is soft enough to get out of the way. Double jointed elbows, very good articulation there. And all of the wrists are hinged horizontally on a disc hinge with the peg into the forearm. So yeah, I kind of wish one of them had been a vertical tilt, but you know, I don't get to say, I just get to buy. And you have a ball jointed disc in the head, goes forward about that far, goes back about that far. Not a lot of articulation in the head, but that is your B Squad Ranger. And let's take a look at the star of this set. I'm sorry, this is the A Squad Ranger. Let's take a look at the star, the B Squad Ranger. So taking a look at the B Squad. Oh man, look at this guy. I love the colors on here. Very, very clean. They added the white stripe down the back. Look at that helmet. That helmet is, let me zoom in just a little bit. That helmet looks good. Good paint apps on it. And I ordered this from BBTS. That's why you see that, uh, the regular packaging, because I have um, In Space Red and Andromeda. It's going to be in the Spectrum packaging. But this came from BBTS. I hate ordering things when I can't see them. Uh, he does have a little bit of the visor is in white over here, but it's, it's not that noticeable. Straight on, the silver and the, the white and the black and the red all look pretty good. On the shoulder, you have the mold of the SPD logo. Kind of missed a, uh, they missed a paint swipe there. It's just a little bit of silver missing. That could have come from just in the packaging. You can see the SPD logo right here on the, on the chest. Everything else looks good. The number's very clean. You see SPD on the belt buckle. I do hate they did not give them pouches on the back to hold their badges, their licenses. As you see, I've got his weapons on him. Very clean on the silver and black on the lower legs. This is just a quality figure. They did very well. He does actually have two trigger hands, which, why? What was so hard about missing the trigger hands on, on uh, the A-Squad guy? Hey guys, realize that I uh, had forgotten to actually reshoot some stuff. My mic ran out of power, and so I did some scenes, and I didn't shoot... Um, any audio form, but here you can see me pulling off the helmet for SPD Blue and replacing it with the civilian head for uh, Chris Violetta, the actor. Uh, most recently seen, I saw him on Star Trek Discovery uh, during season one. So, yeah, there is footage for it. I forgot. Look at those blue eyes. That is a handsome face. So, yeah, I did want to go ahead and show you guys this. Even though I shot the footage, I'm just reshooting a little bit of audio for it. So that way we're, you know, Fully cover the figure, but man, that is a good head sculpt. Look at how handsome he is. That hair is perfect. And I think that's pretty much what I said. So thanks for playing along, guys. He also comes with an open gripping hand. And that's so that he can hold his DECA license or his SPD license. And if you got the hand just right, no, he's not about to do the death touch. He's about to cast judgment on you. And I love that they actually have hands that grip their badges. This is cool. And yeah, it's hinged, uh, I guess that would be uh, horizontally, but he holds it up like this. So, you know, various tilt. He does have a chopping hand, which is cool, but he also has this energy effect. And I saw them, you can put this on his hand. I know Sky's thing was force fields, but it does make a nice energy effect if he was hitting something. So, you know, these are versatile. We've seen these with 
multiple releases. We saw this with Tommy with the first one. He had it was in blue. I think we've gotten every single color of this thing. I have to, I'm gonna pull them all out just so I can see how many colors they have. I have them just in the bag. Uh, he also comes with his uh, Deca knuckle or the D knuckle, and it looks good. Uh, these fit into these holsters very well. You just plug it on in. This is all a very soft plastic. You tuck it in there, boom, it's in there. He also comes with two versions of the D-Stick. One is longer, and it's in the sniper mode configuration. Looks good. And this one is more in the pistol configuration. I know Sky was uh, supposed to be a sniper on the show, and I think he generally did that configuration. But if you look, these plug in very perfectly right on top of there. You've got the pistol mode right there. And this looks, this looks good. But I'm going to be leaving mine with the sniper mode on. Kind of closes up that gap there, that angle right there. So there you go. There we go. Yeah, and it looks really good when he's holding it easily. Maybe put the D-knuckle in first and then put that on top. But yeah, it looks good. I kind of wish they came with the conversion where it was the long stick mode. I know we're getting that with pink, so I'm not going to complain too much, but it does look good. And the accessories included with this figure are pretty good. And also the D-Stick, when it's in the short mode, will uh, holster right there. Same kind of plastic on there. So this looks really good. I got to say, this figure was done very well. All right, getting our two squad members side by side. They look really good together. Sky's going to come in at just about six and one quarter inches tall. And, of course, the A-Squad guy, he's going to come in at, uh, well six and a quarter tall as well. So they're both the same height. Now he's just under six and a quarter. He is right, yeah, he's right under six and a quarter. So they're the same height. The SBD A squad is like a little bit shorter, I guess. Comparing, comparing them to our two standard bearers, we have Captain Amer Worthy Captain America from Marvel Legends and Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Classified. So overall, like I said, I like half of this set. I think they could have put a little bit more work into the A squad guy. And I say that as the guy who does not like A squad. So. Yeah. Now, like I said, I got the set from BBTS, uh, but these are starting to make it to shelves in Target. Go check it out. You can follow the Spectrum packaging there, but am I happy to add another member to my uh, Decker Ranger squad or uh, SPD squad? Absolutely. And I can't wait for next wave to add pink to it. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Make sure you go like us over on Instagram at Alternate Heads Podcast. You can follow me personally on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.